So thank you very much, and I'll turn it over to John English, who's got a, a great announcement for us today. Thank you, Mayor. Governor, I can see beyond Fort South. Can you? Right over here, there's a, there's a front runner. It goes all the way to Ogden. Yeah. <laughs> right down that way, just right on, almost on, on my finger point, is a line going out to the, the airport, a light rail line. Right over here, we've got a line going out to West Valley City. In fact, the intermodal terminal is already open, and the bus rapid transit corridor going out to Magda. It's there. It's there right now. In fact, DOT... <laughs> You want to get closer? Oh, yes, I, I'm just seeing if I can see. You've got great eyes. <laughs> it's almost in. That. It's right over there. Okay. And, and, and your highway people, are, believe it or not, are building us a bus corridor. Imagine that, an exclusive bus corridor there. There's a line going out to Daybreak out here. I can see that one, and it's way beyond Fort South. <laughs> There's one going out to Draper. You know the mountains you used to be able to see that come down? There's a line going right between that and the Jordan River going to your county, Utah County. So there's a lot going on, folks. So we're going to have a premier system. Can you see Alaska? I can't see <laughs> Not going to Alaska. <laughs> they didn't vote with us on this one. <laughs> What's exciting is what we're building is what the, what the public wants. All of these lines are only being built out there right now because you, the citizens of Utah, voted at the ballot box to do this. So we're going to bring it to you. Now, we're probably face, facing right now the worst financial crisis that UTA, at least, and I think the governor everybody else would probably echo this, the worst financial crisis we've ever been in. But we'll keep building these lines. Every one of these lines I mentioned are under, under budget and ahead of schedule. We've got to get them open because you voted for them, you want them, we want you to use them. Right now, we've got, you know, we get air, air quality problems, I don't know, sometimes 70 to 100 days a year. We've got to deal with that. We've got to deal with it right now. And as you committed to those, those projects we're building, you've got to, to commit today that you're going to do something today about what's going on in our community. Um, we're, here's the big announcement. February 12th, free transit for everybody in the region. Now, what we're hoping is everybody, whoever hasn't tried it yet, will get out there and try it. We, we, because, because of the financial crisis I mentioned. We, what I want you to do is commit, when you ride it on that free fair day, to come back and pay for it the next time and keep riding and riding and riding regularly. You know, we're going to demonstrate, we're on, we're on a run here that will demonstrate to the rest of this nation that, that, that we can make a difference in our air quality, we can make a difference in congestion, we can make a difference in, uh, there's a whole list of things that this begins to address. We need a comprehensive public transit system. You know, I've always said that my job was to get single occupancy vehicles off the road. That, that's really my job. So that's why we support carpools, we support van pools. We have 450 van pools operating out there right now. And I just signed a requisition the other day to buy 10 or 20 more vans because the list keeps growing and growing. So we are doing things that'll really work here. It's critical though that we, we make some sacrifices in our daily lifestyle, we've got to do that. I know we're, we're starting to buy, uh, to buy automobiles that are much more friendly to the environment. My wife, uh, my wife has one, my wife rides a bicycle uh, all over Draper now, going to the library and wherever she needs to go. We need, we need a whole regional bikeway system, bikeway authority. Uh, pedestrian ways. I mean, there's a long list, but I know that this community is going to do it, and we're going to be we're going to demonstrate the way to do it to the rest of the nation. It's all not just about us. Okay. Every day I get up and I taste the air to see what kind of whether we're in a yellow uh, alert day or a red air alert day. You can taste it on those red days. It's not just about us, though. It's about our children. And it's about our grandchildren and those who come after them. We've got to do it now. We've got to turn the corner on this right now. So get out there February 12th. Ride transit. It's all going to be free. You can go to Ogden. You can go, well, you can't go to Provo and Front Runner yet, but it's under because you can walk down the line if you'd like. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming. It'll be there. Get out and try it and come back and use it again and again and again. Thank you. We're, we're pleased to be able to do this. <laughs>